Hey there, Star Wars fans. Welcome back to the Hyperspace Database. I'm Jonesy the Mandalorian, your humble host here with today's topic, the Wheel Space Station. The Wheel was a large casino hotel space station developed by Bolsey Design and Transmogrification and was stationed along the outer rim initially before traveling throughout the galaxy and settling in the mid rim. The Wheel was a large ring-shaped space station that resembled a giant wheel with two spokes leading from the central core. Beings could travel in air cars throughout the station and reach the outer wheel rim through the spokes. This was where the main city of the station lived, and there were numerous casinos and cantinas all along the outer rim, as well as having gladiator pits in the center of the station. It appears to be bigger than the Lucra Hulk class battleship used by the Trade Federation, but smaller than the diameter of the first Death Star, though that is just a rough estimate. It was pretty well armed for a space station, and it needed to be, as it often attracted all kinds of attention, from legal sources and not-so-legal sources alike. The wheel was initially built as a gambling den, around 84 years before the Battle of Yavin, and housed many casinos and luxury hotel accommodations, from the illustrious Crimson Casino Lounge and Bar to the Grand Casino, which dealt in extremely high-priced valuables for wealthy clients. It changed hands several times throughout the years, as crime lords sought to gain a strong foothold to do their illegal dealings alongside their legal ones. And it became a neutral ground for any being to come and relax, as well as gamble and spend their hard-earned credits freely. The station would develop its own seedy underbelly as the years went on, though the upper levels of the station were still maintained for the wealthier guests that would frequently visit. The wheel was located in Separatist space during the Clone Wars, and Jedi Knight Quinlan Voss operated undercover there to gather intelligence against the CIS, where he was known as the crime boss Corto Voss. It would be seen many years later during the Galactic Civil War, as a safe space against the Empire, where only financially worthy clients were even let on board. It was rumored that a being had to have a very high minimum of credits in their bank accounts before they were even allowed to approach the station's numerous docking bays. While the Empire respected the neutral space of the station, they did have a landing platform with two system patrol craft right outside of this immunity sphere, so that they could keep an eye on the dealings aboard the wheel. It also helped that the administrator at the time paid his taxes to the Empire regularly, and tried to cater to the Empire's anti-alien policies, making all rules on the station regarding aliens guilty until proven innocent. After the Empire was defeated, the wheel changed owners again and managed to maintain its neutrality, all the way up until the Yuuzhan Vong invasion around 25 ABY, where it was then used as a transfer point for refugee ships. The Vong would eventually conquer the station, but it somehow managed to get through the war without suffering too much damage. The wheel continued to serve as one of the galaxy's longest-running gambling dens, running right through till the Sith Imperial War, some 125 years after Yavin. The administrator at this point was killed by pirates, and new leadership took over that banned all weapons and fighting aboard the station. It was rumored that if anyone was caught violating these rules, the administration would cast you off of the station, whether you had a ship or not. During this period of time, envoys of the Empire in Exile and the Galactic Alliance met to discuss joining forces against the newly surfaced One Sith. Though this meeting was sabotaged and led to the administration of the station banning the Imperials from setting foot there again. Many years after this point, in around 138 ABY, the administration changed hands once more, this time in favor of a suspected Sith sympathizer, who was keen to get the station back to its criminal roots. Though this would lead to the station falling to ruin as the seedy parts of the station grew to overtake the respectable parts. While the primary appearance of the wheel is in Legends material, there was another version seen in the new canon, in the LEGO Freemaker Adventures TV series. The space station BDT-0978 is also called the wheel, though this version looks considerably different, and has several rings that house several different classes of individuals. The upper ring was for high-class individuals, the middle ring was for the working class, and the lower ring was where many illegal operations took place, like pod races and other gambling opportunities, though it was also home to the Ashton Stadium and Cosmo Lounge, where there were games of shock ball and various drinks were enjoyed. The Freemakers were a family of scavengers that owned a repair business called Freemaker Salvage and Repair. It was on the middle ring, and the family went on many adventures with their reprogrammed battle droid ROGR, or Roger as they fondly called him. This version of the wheel is also featured in the Choose Your Own Adventure series, when Anakin and Obi-Wan are sent to locate the leader of the Nova Crime Syndicate, Grinask Sandburge. 
The Wheel was a very profitable space station for its numerous administrators and guests, and enjoyed a very long stretch of independence, serving as a meeting place for many different organizations and rivaling the most luxurious casinos and cantinas across the galaxy. Want to know more about great Star Wars topics just like this one? Be sure to stick around at the end for some secret trivia, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and the bell to be notified every time I publish a new video. Be sure to chat with me in the comments because I really, really like talking to you guys. Super special shout out to my Gold Captain Level Patreon supporters, Matthew Scott, Nick Sutphin, and Miss2003. You keep the show going and you help us to expand and do new things. Thank you so much. Be sure to check out my other videos while you're looking, and you can follow the show on social media for more news and channel updates. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.